All right. Well, we will go hello, ahead hello. and get started. Everybody, we're good? Kevin? Okay. Well, we'd like to welcome the winner of the 2022 Barbersaw Championship, Trey Mullinex. Trey, congratulations Thank on your you. first career PGA Tour win, 106 start just after your 30th birthday. That's right. Uh, and with the win, you move up to 71st in the FedEx Cup. Awesome. Um, what a finish. I heard you talk outside to Craig Perks that this is the, that's the kind of that's what you dream about a finish yeah. like that. Absolutely. So congratulations. Just Thank a few you. comments on the week. Uh, yeah. What a, what a week. Uh, tired. Uh, it's a long day today. Uh, it was a grind, uh, but we stayed sharp. We stayed focused um, pretty much all day. We knew that it was going to be a grind. We knew guys were, you know, we were going to get wore down, but we just had to just keep at it and keep firing. And you know, at the end of the day, I walked away with a with a low score. So. A lot of stopping and starting, it's golf, that stuff happens. How are you able to kind of keep yourself in check and not try to get too far ahead of yourself? Uh, my family being here was huge. Uh, during the rain delays, I'd kind of go back and forth uh, and see them. Um, you know, having your kids there will keep you occupied pretty quick. Uh, and so we, we would wrestle and watch movies and all kinds of stuff. So it was, uh, it was pretty easy to keep occupied during the rain delay. One more question, then we'll open it up to you guys so you all can ask a few questions. Uh, not only you get the check and the trophy from this event, but you're, you got a plane waiting to Pretty take awesome. you overseas. So how cool is that to be heading over to make your first start of the Open Championship at St. Andrews, nonetheless? It's, uh, I mean, what an incredible honor to be able to go over there and play. Uh, what a dream come true to be able to go to St. Andrews on the 150th and be able to play. i got a lot of... Uh, logistics to take care of uh, here in just a few little in just a little bit but uh man super excited and ready to go over there and try to figure out that golf course okay well with that we'll take a few questions and if y'all would just raise your hand we'll give you a call we'll start in the back right here we'll get a microphone to you can you remember the last time you had such a fist pump on a walk-off putt so to speak uh, national championship in 2014 uh, with Coach Sewell. It was a special moment. Uh, I don't. Both of them are great. Uh, this one might give it a little bit, but I don't know. They're pretty close. Trey, a lot of people will say this is, uh, you know, uh, an alternative event or a second tier event for for someone like you on that 18th green, looking for their first PGA Tour win and a spot in the open on the line. How much did this moment, this this result, this weekend mean to you? I don't know any second tier players out there. Uh, this is a great event. Um, everybody, everybody playing in this event is an amazing golfer. Uh, and they're on the PGA Tour. And, you know, yeah, you might not be in, in at the Scottish, but you're playing against the best golfers. And so to, that never changed in my mind. I'm playing against the best and I want to I want to win. And so it was uh, it was great to go out and do that. Hey, congratulations. Uh, are you going to be Thank able to you. pick the brain of your former teammate and fellow Kentucky and uh, Justin Thomas a little bit when you get over there? You played with him at Bama, correct? I did. Are you be able to pick his brain at all when you get over there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to. Uh, I got to get there first and, uh, you know, figure out accommodations and all that stuff. So we're, uh, we'll be booking, uh, booking everything now, but I'm, I'm really excited about going over there and um, I'm hoping, I'm sure he's texted me or called me, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him and celebrating. So, Go right over here and then in the back. What was going through your mind when um, the, the shot on the green appeared to be rolling downhill toward the edge? It looked like it was going downhill. Were you, you know, were you just kind of saying, stop, stop, you know, give you a good chance? Yeah, the wind was a little bit off the right, and I hit it exactly where I wanted to, thinking the wind might push it a little bit. It was an aggressive shot, but at the time it called for an aggressive moment. And so, you know, Kevin hit a great shot in there about nine feet, uh, ten feet. And so I knew he's been putting really well, and I knew that I had to, you know, at least give myself a chance. And bailing out left was not, not it. And so we, uh, we, we took an aggressive line, and I hit a great shot. I never thought it was going to go in the water. Um, I knew it had enough spin on it. I knew it was, you know, it was a pitching wedge. It wasn't really going to bounce that much. So um, when it landed on the green, I saw it rolling. I was like, okay. It just kind of kept rolling away from the hole. And I was like, all right, it was a good shot. Stop, stop. <laughs> and so uh, when it kind of kept rolling and I saw it stop, I knew I was going to have an uphill putt, which is huge. 
Uh, congratulations first Thank off on, on the victory. It, it felt a lot like, especially on the back nine, you and Kevin were having a back and forth when you guys were kind of separating yourselves. Could you just kind of take us inside that battle and what was it like trying to go against a guy who's won twice on the tour already? Yeah, uh, like I said before, being able to play with him for, thir for 36 holes was an absolute pleasure. Um, he is one of the nicest men out here, polite, uh, just unreal guy and so we were having so much fun and to have that battle with him was I wouldn't you know for a guy like him to lean on me and give me a hug after the round just shows you how great of a guy he is and so it was it was honor to to battle it out with him so we heard that your caddy has a connection to Kentucky can you kind of elaborate on what that was uh yeah he lives uh 15 minutes from here uh him and his wife and his daughter uh, and their pretty much family live here. Uh, so, yeah, it's been pretty cool to have all of them out and cheer me on, too. It was like a little army out there. It was great. <laughs> Tom? Great. Congratulations. Uh, huge you. week for golf, uh, the PGA Tour and the DP World Tour. Obviously, you've got a lot on your mind at the moment, but have you given any thought to coming over and playing in Europe every once in a while? Uh, yeah, if you'll have me. If you can understand me, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> but uh, nah, I'm, I'm sure that would be a great opportunity for me to play. Um, I haven't gone through the schedules or anything like that yet. I, I don't know what's coming up or, you know, what's over there. But, uh, you know, like I said, really excited. I got a lot to figure out. Uh, and so I hope to get to play. There was a story floating around on, on Twitter today that three years ago you were hit uh, yes. by a golf ball in a pro-am. Just what's that journey been like to, I know your golf game, you said that was out of whack for a little bit, but to, to get back and, and to win on the PGA Tour, uh, just what does that mean from that aspect too? Yeah, uh, it was tough. Uh, obviously that guy, he didn't mean to hit me. Uh, and, you know, it was just kind of a freak accident. Took me out for a little while. Um, worked really hard to get back. Went through a pretty dark period uh you know you go from having pga tour status to getting injured and not playing great to nothing and then you know covid hit and you know got nothing for even longer and so um really just dedicated a lot of our time to practicing getting better uh and just tried to just keep at it uh like i said before you know i, I got reminded this week of my per uh, my purpose god has me out here to play golf and i want to do that well and i want to honor him in that and so you know that was my that was my goal this week was to live out my purpose good or bad doesn't matter yep is there any different pressure when you're coming through 15 16 17 whatever and you see the leaderboard but in this case you're playing with the guy shot for shot so you kind of know what's happening instead of maybe listening down the course somewhere for that big roar yeah um you know, I, I knew me and him were battling out. I didn't know what the guys behind us were doing. Uh, I know that after we birdied 15, or yeah, 15, uh, I knew I, I, there was a leaderboard there, and I kind of, I didn't, I was trying not to look at all. Uh, and so I, I kind of kept my mind away from it. I, I saw where me and him were tied. And then obviously uh, 16, I knew I probably won up. And then when I got on 18, I just, you know, me and my caddy, I was like, hey, you know, what do we need to do? Because you and Kevin are tied. And I, and I was like, well, what's everybody else? And so we, we just kind of really, we try to just really focus on what we were doing. He let me know that information. But, you know, at that point, I'm, you know, it's almost playing match play uh, against him. And I hit a great drive on 18 to set me up for a great second shot. Anybody else? All right. Well, Trey, congratulations. Go Thank you all so much. Win this week for everybody in this room. Yeah, come on. There we go. Let's do it. Thank you. Yeah, we're just, uh, yeah. nope, you're fine.